my nan's favourite flower in her favourite colour. That's so cool. <laughs> Hey guys, so we just got done at Mount Gambia ARB, just stopped in to get some supplies. Um, they hooked us up with a pre-filter for the caravan just to look after our water quality before it hits our filter. Um, we also got a snake and spider bite kit. You just never know when you're out in the outdoors as well because we plan on doing a lot of free camping. Um, and also a dirty gear bag to hang off our spare wheel um, on the caravan for a bin. So get down and see the guys at Mount Gambia ARB. They'll help look after you and keep you on the tracks. What are you practicing? Um, my name's York. Your name. This made this book was made by our amazing friend Safa Al Chami. She makes these beautiful books to help us while we're on the road. So we are leaving Mount Gambia today. We have been staying at the Pine Country Caravan Park. Highly recommend this park. It's got lots of stuff for kids to do. It's a huge park. It's absolutely amazing. The staff are so friendly very very welcoming and inviting they stop by they say hello they have a chat so yeah if you're ever in mount gambia and looking for a caravan place park to stay at highly recommend this one um, we are off to robe today and we're staying at the discovery park there so super excited to get back on the beach bunnings doesn't matter where we are he will find a bunnings to go to <laughs> oh god, a man's happy place. What are you doing here? Yeah, well, sort of maintenance. Installing a jerry can holder on the rear bar. Nice. Just so when we head up the centre we've got more storage for diesel and um, we can store more in the toolbox up the front but I want to keep the balance and the weights right once we start filling these jerry cans up. So one back here, two up front, good to go. Shower highly enough. We've just been down full driving on the beach now, hosing the sand off the young bloke's legs. So, awesome extra to add on to your van. So, today we left um, Robe. We left Robe, South Australia, and we are headed to Murray Bridge. So, we are there for the next three nights and then heading to Adelaide. <laughs> the kids are a little bit delusional. This is probably the longest trip we've had in the car. It's around three hours. So we've stopped a few times. We went and had a look at the lobster and a few other little things, but um, they've done really, really well. What's happened? 
Well, I just pulled up at the servo to fill up with diesel, and every time I walk around the van, I always put my hands on the wheels, right, just to see what's hot, right? That wheel there is hotter than all of the others, so I've now jacked it up just to check the wheel bearing. There's a little bit of a grinding sound in there, so I'm gonna have to pull the wheel off, get inside the brake there, So thank goodness for Total Care. So before we left, we made sure we had RACB Total Care. Um, just in case, you never know what could happen to the car or the van. So as you may have seen earlier, um, Josh always checks all of the caravan, the car, everything, anytime we stop. And a few of the wheel rims were really, one of them was really, really hot. So we called up the caravan company and got some ideas and stuff of that kept plodding along a little bit further um, we stopped again um, to get diesel and um, yeah it's hotter than what it was before so we've stopped called RAC, RACV Total Care and um, they're sending someone out that's local to the area to check it out and make sure that it's all okay to keep going so we're about 15 minutes from Murray Bridge from where we're actually staying but we thought there's no point risking it and keeping on driving we're just gonna stay put and um, See what this guy has to say are we good yeah we're good so um basically what i've been able to nut out with the help of the boys from the design southern design rv workshop i gave um grant a call down there awesome guys super helpful so what we've what we've come across um with the, the communications from me to him up via the phone obviously him not being here but it can be a bit of a common occurrence with electric brakes and tandem axles because they, they they should all be set at the same brake level um, with the electro magnet that's in them for the braking um, but it, what it can do is it can cause a little bit of friction um, if it's not set just that extra half turn or whatever it may be so this is up for its service anyway um, when we get into Murray Bridge I'm going to find a place caravan service centre that's going to um, obviously I can bring this up with them and they can go over the brake settings on it um, and anything else that may be causing this but from what I've come across with, with Grant and myself is the wheel bearing's fine, it's not sloppy so it's not that, we can eliminate that because that will cause heat if it's starting to go um, and it just might be a light brake shoe adjustment but hey, look, we've pulled over, we've pulled it apart, we've spoke to some professionals, we've put our heads together and we've worked out, we're still safe to push on um, but it's due for a service. So always keep an eye on your van. That safety lap I always talk about when I stop, I always check the temperature of the wheels, check everything's still hooked up fine and, and nothing else is going on. So can, couldn't recommend highly enough doing that safety walk around your van when you stop because this is when you pick up on these little problems. So I've had a lot of mums and parents reach out and want a video on the mesh bed rail for the bunk that we got made up for Chloe. So here it is. It's absolutely amazing so it's got the zip that goes all the way around and down there and it's got some press studs that hold it up there and they're the heavy duty ones so she can't pull them off easily so it's really good it has the zip i can get to her really easy and she can't get out so this was made by um Qualtrum in ballarat so yeah highly 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 recommend anyone that's traveling with a baby um, gets one of these made up because I did have a bed rail while I was getting for this one getting this one made and it killed my back and trying to get it in like a little section like that over the rail was really hard so this makes it super super easy let's talk TV reception lately when we've been checking into caravan parks have been giving us coax cables they're supplying the TV antennas for us now where we are right now is they're very high up okay so obviously it's a bad reception area but they're providing um, TV reception through their their supply in the park. So what I've actually done with ours, so ours works inside. The outlet here on the side of the van can also be used as an input, all right? So if you are using the TV outside, just simply plug that cable into your TV. Or if you're using it inside, plug the supplied lead into the side of the caravan there, which will feed then TV reception to the inside of the van. Now, when you're inside the van, this is, this is the tip that counts, all right? Make sure your booster is off because if your booster is on, I'll just quickly show you, the reception doesn't work, all right? Key tip, 
make sure the booster is off and their lead supplied um, is on the outside of your van plugged in. at Murray Bridge in South Australia. Um, now we are heading off tomorrow to Adelaide. We're super excited to spend six nights there at the Big Four there, um, right on the beach. So that'll be lovely. Going back to my happy place and we're going to be catching up with so many amazing team members there and people that are involved in the business that we are in. So, and a lot of people that we coach and mentor personally. So super excited for that. So make sure you stay tuned and up to date with all of our um, adventures, especially on our Facebook and Instagram pages. We're on TikTok now as well. And of course, YouTube. One day we will have a houseboat. Won't we, Josh? Houseboat? Fucking super hot. <laughs> We're not keeping him. No, we're not. Get rid of it. Ah! Thank you for watching our latest episode. Make sure you hit subscribe. Uh, subscribe That's the red one just down there. <laughs>